How to use shared headers and footers. Shared headers and footers let you create a template that you can apply to many pages at once. By only editing one header and footer for each funnel, you can keep things consistent and save lots of time without having to duplicate elements across many different pages. Shared headers and footers are perfect for things like countdowns, discount, alerts, menus, and more. To get to shared headers and footers, navigate to the funnel screen of the funnel where you want to add a shared header and footer. The header and footer screen is where you can see which pages have the header or footer enabled which need republishing, and what your header and footer look like at a glance. To add a master or footer, hover over the preview image and click Edit. This will open up a limited version of the page builder, which contains only your header or your footer. You can add and edit elements as you would in the page builder only in a limited area. You can't add forms or layers to headers and footers. When you are done, click Save. To add a header or footer to all your pages, go to the header and footer dashboard. Toggle on apply to all pages button. Header and or footer will appear on your pages on your funnel. Now you can see what it looks like. You might want to make some changes. Luckily, you can edit your, your header and footer from within the page builder. Click on Show More. Find the page you want to edit. Open Editor. You can add elements, move things, and change colors and fonts as usual. Remember, you can't use layers or forms in headers or footers. To change the height of the header or footer, click and drag the handle. When you're done, click outside the header or footer area. Important. Whenever you edit the header or footer, Every page which already has it must be republished. You can see it at a glance, which pages need to be republished after every update from the header and footer screen. Another great feature of shared headers and footers is the ability to make both of them sticky. This means they stay in position, so when you use when the user scrolls, they remain at the top or bottom of the screen. To enable this, go to Page Settings, click on Headers and Footers. Toggle on Choose to use a header or choose to use a footer, depending on which you like to use on your page, or both. You will see new options appear when you do this. Here you can toggle on or off sticky headers and footers with the options make header sticky and make footer sticky. If you don't want to use your shared header or footer on one of your pages, here's how you can do it. On your page, go to page settings and select headers and footers. Then toggle off the button on choose a choose use a header or choose use a footer. After that, click done, save and republish your page.
if you if you have used apply to all pages in your headers dashboard or footer you will be unable to untoggle these just make note if you have it enabled or not 